The five main branches of chemistry. First, what is chemistry? Well, chemistry is the study of matter and the changes it undergoes. So in chemistry, you will be learning about different chemical reactions that happen to substances. There are five main branches of chemistry. Organic chemistry. Organic chemistry is the scientific study of the structure, properties, composition, and reactions of substances that contain carbon. A common example for organic chemistry is the process of photosynthesis in a leaf because there is a change in the chemical composition of the living plant. Have you ever asked yourself, who creates the medicine you take when you have a fever? Or, who creates the ink you use for writing? Well, all of those are made possible because of organic chemistry. Inorganic chemistry Inorganic chemistry is the polar opposite of organic chemistry because inorganic chemistry is the scientific study of the properties and behavior of materials that do not contain carbon. Have you ever wondered how gold is formed? Well, Inorganic chemistry commonly deals with elements and compounds other than carbon or hydrocarbons. Inorganic chemists study compounds of crystals, minerals, metals, and most elements in the periodic table. Physical chemistry Physical chemistry is the study of the behavior of materials. An example is if you take a gas and you seal it up, and you reduce the volume of the gas by compressing it down, you find that the pressure goes up, and so that's the behavior of the gas. Physical chemistry is about what happens to a substance when you do something to it. Biochemistry, sometimes called biological chemistry, is the study of chemical processes within and relating to living organisms. Everything in the body is made up of atoms and molecules of different chemical compounds like carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen. An example is the mad cow disease in humans in which biochemists found out that it was caused by a misfolded protein. Analytical chemistry Analytical chemistry is the study involving of how we analyze the chemical components of a sample. Like how in a crime scene, a sample is collected and sent to the lab, in which analytical chemists analyze the chemical components of a sample. Which of the five major branches of chemistry interests you the most? Comment down below, and don't forget to leave a like.